Hey, Gary. Hey, guys. Hey, Tenoch. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tapping In with Gary Spivey. Hey, Michelle. Adriana. What y'all doing? You have to make a noise so it'll go to you. There we are. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Gary. Hi, There everyone. we are. There you are. <laughs> I see you. How's that? Judy, you're on the beach. You're hanging out. Yeah. Right? I've never left me? the beach. I'm here yeah. all the time. You're always on the beach? Always on the beach. You're like a seagull. That's it. <laughs> That's good. Dean's here with me. He's in prison. He'll never leave. Here he is. I'm stuck in Gary's uh, dining room. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, he's you're hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Dean and I are all relaxed, kicking back, <clears throat> watching movies, eating bonbons. Oh, yeah. you know, it's a great life. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's really good. Everybody else is back in place. To know Adriana, you guys are back in Washington, right? Is that where you are? Yes. Oh, there home. they are. You're home. Yes, You're but home. we miss you. Oh, I miss, I miss you too. Yeah. I miss you too. You know, the reason I miss you is because you're so wonderful. But outside of that, I miss your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great. You guys Thank are great, you. but you can cook it up. I love it. I love cooking for people, but I also like to be cooked for, you know? And so mm -hmm. you guys are, you guys are always fixing some yummy things. I'm like sitting oh, here missing that. Thank you. I'll have to learn uh, new things next time. You will. You have to teach me all your, your little recipes. secrets. Sinoch won't give me his secrets. He's kind of, he's kind of grumpy about it. You know, <laughs> he want me to learn how to cook his mother's recipes. He says, you know, anyway, I don't know why. We'll convince him. <laughs> yeah. And so, well, anyway, I'm glad to talk to you guys. Thank you all for uh, checking this out here on Tapping In with Gary Spivey. I am Gary Spivey and uh, my crazy crowd who I love. And, um, and I'm glad to be here with you guys. Uh, we got all kinds of things going on. The world is a changing. The world is a changing. I'm telling you, I've never seen so many dimensional shifts ever. Uh, you know, I was I was talking to somebody. I was actually doing another interview earlier, and and uh, they asked me questions. You know, when when you do interviews where they ask you questions about you, you know, I never, I I'm usually interviewing. I'm not being interviewed, and and so, but but uh, it, it's kind of like uh, on here. But it's it's really neat because you know I I love answering questions, and so it was so cool to think of all uh, the the little innuendos and answers, and and they they asked me what is the most difficult part of doing a show and uh and these are, are really good questions and and so frankly i've done so many shows over my life that it's nothing's difficult about it it's just kind of like i'm just kind of going through uh, uh the motions of doing everything we we do in shows and so but one thing that happens that you guys aren't aware of and i'm going to make you aware of it and i thought well this is something really important because they asked me what's the most difficult part and I said, well, you know, over the years, over the last 30 years, I, I keep getting, you know, all these new dimensions that open up. And when I get all these, like a different dimension opens up or a brand new heaven opens up to me uh, or to the world, to the planet Earth, if you would, I, I got a whole new bunch of angels. And uh, for years, uh, I, I coined a phrase called, they changed my angels out right and so you get brand new angels so when i'm doing uh television shows or if, or if i'm doing radio shows or it's always some show somewhere or live vegas shows or, or whatever we're doing at, at the moment or here with you guys on zoom which is my favorite thing to do by the way i i you know have this thing where usually i can ask my angel a question and they'll back it and they'll give me the answer like like even before i can it's kind of like present time thinking and and now I just got my angels switched out with these great big, and I still have all the other angels, but I also have got these new ones that are capable of really crazy things. I've seen me do things in the last week that I've never seen me do. And I mean, I'm talking crazy, crazy things, miraculous healing with people. I see that happening and I'm, I'm like, whoa, that is freaky. Um, and I, and I'm seeing me, you know, um, uh, it, it was really crazy. I hope he's on tonight. If he is, please, you know, raise your hand or light up or something. Uh, but I, I, I read this guy, I think if he, he's in Arizona, if I remember, and I found this, he had lost a piece of equipment and I, and I psychically, he, he 
he had used it at a, as he worked doing these jobs places and he had lost this piece of equipment, but it was like a $30,000 piece of equipment because I don't know if it was stolen out of my van or if somebody, or if I left it somewhere uh, and I told him exactly where he left it. <clears throat> and he went back there and sure enough, there it was. Right. And, and, and so he was, he was all excited and he called and, and so, but I've had like those things, it's just been really, really crazy. The crazy things I've seen, you know, and I'm used to seeing me do things, uh, but I'm seeing me do some stuff I hadn't seen me do. And so, so tonight should be a pretty interesting show as we settle in and figure out like all you guys' problems. So I'm very interested in reading you guys and talking to you guys and figuring out what these new angels have got going on because uh, it's it's a different beat. It's a very different beat. And, and even some of you guys have been like, you know, uh, emailing and texting me and, and different things and talking to me uh, about these new angels that have, have shown up on the planet earth in Dean saw them. Now you guys, Dean, you and Michelle were up in the mountains and I was experiencing this where, you know, um, you know, at, at home and you guys were kind of up taking a little break from me at, up in the mountains. <laughs> and, and, and so, and seeing your mom and dad in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah. And, and, um, and you were talking about the, these purple angels, you came back and you told me about them. And so what was that like? Tell me what you saw. Tell me what yeah. you experienced. Yeah. Cause after I left Gatlinburg, I stopped at, uh, my friend's cabin in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Uh, Chris, if you're on, thank you very much for letting me say that, but he's got this beautiful Creek that runs through the backyard. And I call it the I call it the spiritual gift creek because because we always get spiritual gifts right there at that spot. You know that's what happens. Like my gift table. You know you'll get you'll have a little vortex, and when you guys meditate at your house, uh, and you open the energy field of wherever you meditate every time, you'll notice your spiritual gifts will come down. So anyway, so you're at the spiritual gift creek. <laughs> anyway, right. So I was leaving to come back to your house, and I told Michelle, I said, "Let's just try to leave early. I got to get on a road. I got a lot of work to do." And she said, "Okay." And I'm locking up everything. And I'm walking, I was getting ready to walk out the door and I heard, you missed something. And I'm like, what did I miss? And so I heard God say, go back outside. So I walked back outside. And when I did, it was almost like looking through my physical eyes. I could see all these purple beings around the creek. And they all looked at me at the same time. And I was like, wow. So this is really cool. And I said, well, who are you? And I heard they're God conscious beings. And then I was like, well, this is really cool. So I walked back inside and I said, Michelle, what do you see? And she goes, oh, wow, you got all these purple beings that walked in the house with you. And I was like, okay. Not crazy. <laughs> so you're not nuts. <laughs> See, that's the cool thing about seeing spiritually. And, and that's how Dean and I wrote the, our first book, Your Keys to Heaven. I can see something spiritually and I would go, hey, Dean, what do you see? And he would do that and he would say that. Uh, and so and you and Michelle are always doing that. And we're always doing this with each other. And you guys can find you'll do the same thing uh, where you can compare notes. And, and if um, what's the chances or the odds that Michelle would randomly say, I see all these purple beings with you, right? <laughs> Right. So what was that like? What was that like for you, Michelle? What was that like? What What did you what did you it think? Was really cool. I felt like a lot of healing and like oneness. Um, I don't know. It, it was really cool, though, because I felt like everything was purple, like as if there was a purple hue everywhere. <laughs> and, and so but everything was just kind of a purple color. Yeah. And the purple beings were really cool, too. Very tall. They are. Yeah. That's, that's so neat. You know, well, th the first time that I saw these purple beings was, uh, in the, uh, the spiritual retreat here in North Carolina. Uh, and by the way, thank you guys for signing up for, uh, the Ojai spiritual retreat. And if you hadn't signed up, we got a couple more spots. That's about it. A few more spots, not many, uh, cause it will sell out. And so, but, uh, and if anybody wants to join us at the spiritual retreat in Ojai, Michelle, uh, what's your cell phone number? They can call you up because you're doing yes, it. You're booking you. it up. Oh, look at that. Tenoch and Adriana got, got me right there. It's uh, 702-822-0548. Feel free to call me, text me. I'll help anyone that wants to connect. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. And so anyway, so so when I was at the, the spiritual retreat and, and I went out into the field at the, uh, uh, at the, I call it the I am field because I see I am out there. Uh, and, and I not only saw I am, I saw all these purple beings. And the best way to explain them is purple beings because they, 
they look like um, beings. They look like sort of, you, you got a sense that they're angels. And, and I asked I am, I said, who are they? And I am said, those are, I am angels. And so, and then they told you, uh, Dean, they describe themselves as God consciousness beings. Yes. That's what they said. God conscious beings. And I was like, wow. Well, you know, welcome to earth. I didn't know what to tell them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to earth, I guess. Um, hello. Um, why me? Um, you know, that's what went through my mind. Like, oh, yeah. Hi. And it kind of feels like that because, the, you know, and I don't think they've been on earth before. Maybe they have, and, and maybe I'm ignorant and later I'll probably change my mind and say, yeah, they've been here forever and I just couldn't see them. But, but these beings, uh, these beings are really quite amazing and they're, they're, uh, uh, but they bring in light in an abundant form that I have never seen. Um, and, but they're no nonsense. I mean, they really mean business about oneness. They really mean business about, about being God like and being more God conscious. And so, so it's just the whole thing has been a different experience, but, uh, I was, I was noticing them doing things like I could think I wanted, uh, I was working with a person and I was, I was working with someone yesterday. And I hope you're on tonight. If you are, raise your hand, please. And so, but it was, it was, I was working with someone, I think it was yesterday, uh, in a private reading and I, and, um, I was working on healing her and she had some eye issues and I, and I, and I, I could see it just instantly kind of changing and getting better. Uh, and, and at the end of me clearing and doing and pulling dark things out of her eyes and, and her head, and, and as I went on and then, then, uh, I guess she had her eyes closed. And so, cause I was doing it on the phone and she opened her eyes, I guess. And so she was like, Oh my God, Oh my God, everything's so bright. I can see, I can see, I can see. And so she was just carrying on, you know? Um, but I realized that these, these, um, if you would, these purple beings were helping me heal her. And it was miraculous. It was absolutely amazing. And so I've had those kind of crazy experiences this week. And so if you guys, if you guys have been having crazy experiences, um, I had um, my buddy Mark from uh, San Francisco texted me and said, what do these blue diamonds mean? But they actually will give you the gift of different things and like blue diamonds and, and purple diamonds and, and these, what does that mean? And I, 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 you know, and so, so other spiritually evolved people are experiencing, uh, this vibration, which is a very special vibration in being, which are these new God beings here. And so every time I see something, uh, I'm going to tell you guys about it. Every time Dean sees something or, or Michelle or any of the rest of us see things, uh, we're going to let you guys know what we see. And as we figure out the gifts that are attached to all that and, and how to get them and, and how to use them, uh, we're going to show you guys how to do it. And so that's what I look forward to. And so by the time we get to Ojai in, in uh, about three weeks away, right? How, where are we? Two or three weeks? Where's yeah, it going? Less than a month. Yeah. Pulling up the calendar. I think we're about a month away. Let me see. We're one, two. Yep. We are just, just a month, basically one month. We're 29 days away, 28 days. Oh, it's going to come really fast. Watch. <laughs> yeah. So by then, I'll really know how to probably use all these gifts. And, and so I don't know if I'll know how to use all these gifts, but I'll certainly know more than I know. Um, and, uh, and I can't wait to, uh, to see you guys up there. Uh, so, so, uh, anyway, Dean, you were saying you had more to add, I think. And so what's it? I, know, been I had like? something to add to it. <laughs> okay. What is it? <laughs> Tell you me. You were reading my mind. When, when Dean, um, when we saw the purple beings in the cabin uh, and he asked me, hey, where do you want to go eat? And, and then I was just like, wherever you want. And then we picked a place. We're like, okay. And then he said, we saw that the purple beings really appreciated the oneness that we had together. Oh. Like, because they were like oneness beings, they, they, it's like they they can tell that we had like this oneness connection that was just so easy like how we love unconditionally with with no no limitation effort. no yeah. no effort and no effort and no hesitation like you said it right and so uh i think that that's just they feel at home with that and i think so the more oneness you, that you have the more one you are um, then the, and, and the less angry you are, you guys don't want to be mad at nothing cause you'll run them off. And so, so it, it, but it feels like that. And it feels like this amazing connection. Uh, as long as you have an amazing connection, you're going to have an amazing co a connection with these big beings. And so uh, I think they make you lucky. I think they make you healthy and probably wealthy.
healthy and wise and whatever. And so all those things, which are good things, which are great things. And, and so I've had a different beat. I've had a different vibe. I feel, you know, a lot, kind of a peaceful energy uh, and a sweet, loving, kind energy. And so in all the people, I've noticed that as I talk to people um, that have, you know, um, that same vibe, it, it really gets just bigger and brighter and more. So we'll see what happens. So who are we talking to? Who are we talking to? What I'm, I have no agenda. I'm just going to read you guys and talk to you guys about you and what's happening with you. And so, Yay, yeah, Thank so you, just, Jerry. yeah, just ask me questions. Okay. Well, let's get somebody that it's going to be their first time on. Her name is Tammy Martinez. So let's go to Tammy Martinez, T A M I. All right, Welcome, Tammy, unmute uh, yourself. Hi, all. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Gary? I'm really good, really good. What's your question or what you got to comment on? So um, what I want is to clear the negativity around my, me, myself, my husband, um, my kids, uh, my work relationships, and I know I have addictive demons. I have a very addictive personality, and I want mm -hmm. to get rid of those. Okay. All right. And so, um, well, uh, addictive personalities or addictive demons are some of the trickiest and the hardest to get rid of. Uh, these days, here's what's happening, as I've noticed, uh, with, with people who have addictive energies or addictive demons or addiction problems. I've seen them going, the planet is going to a higher and higher and a higher vibration. Uh, it's very hard to reach those higher vibrations if you are an addict. And so because of that, people are becoming more aware and more aware that it's probably not a good idea. And you see, does that make any sense to you? Yes, it does. And, and so, and you're, you're learning lessons that are kind of crammed in your face a lot more. Have you noticed that? I have. Yes. And, and so good. Good, because that's that's how it works. That's how it's working. Yeah. Um, so so um, just by being on the ride, like you guys are on the planet, I would assume everybody's on the same planet Earth here, and and so even though we may be in different spaces or places and are and are are evolving, um, you, what it amounts to is the dark energies, especially the addictive energies, are getting shaken out of people, and I've noticed that, um, and I've seen example after example. Great. And so it may be a little painful, but as they get shook out, you guys are kind of waking up to how nice it is just to be you. Mm -hmm. And and so, and I think you're aware of that because when I see you, you're beautiful, loving, kind, sweet, all those things, all the right adjectives, you know, that's who you are as a person. And so, and sometimes with the addictive energies, you're not that. And that actually now you're kind of pissed about it, right? You're kind of mad at it. It's a different thing. Yeah, I, I know that I have an issue. I've stopped one of my addictions, but I Good. kind of picked up another one. And mm -hmm. I'm really trying to limit it and focus on it and end it. Um, but I, I, I do Good. go super addictive. Like if I go hiking, I'll do it six days a week. Like it's I go to one extreme to the next. Mm -hmm. And so I know what the issue is. I just I want to stop. I want to okay. get rid of it. When I look at you, you have obsessive compulsive demons and I'm pull them out of you. Is that okay? Yes. Is that right? Okay. There we go. And I'm just yanking them out of you. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. And now it's really crazy. I saw these purple angels, if you would, I'm going to call them that for lack of a better term. Uh, I saw these, these purple, I heard purple, I am angels. And I saw them, I saw them burn up all your addictive demons and they actually burned up. And that's a new gift for me. I didn't see, I've never used that particular gift to get rid of obsessive compulsive demons and saw them catch on fire and burn up. How do you feel? You feel warm? I feel on fire and very emotional. Okay. Well, if you feel emotional, that means you got healed. Uh, anytime, anytime you feel emotional like that, that means you're getting healed or you got healed. And I see you looking beautiful. I see you looking bright and I see this beautiful blue purple diamond go around you in a protective way how do you feel now even more emotional good on That's fire good. i feel on fire good good honey good and just all you got to do is just say god god i just want to be healed from my addictive qualities i just want to be healed from my addictive qualities 
all those qualities are not a quality. You know, they're a nasty thing. And we're going to, we're going to push those all away. And there you go. Now you feel how you can breathe. It's crazy. You see, I can feel you. I'm empathing you. And I suddenly feel you, you breathing. See, different breath. Feel it? Yeah. And it, well, it's hard a lot because I absorb a lot of energies from other people. Yeah, so, we're, we're all empathic these days. And so with being an empath, we pick up everything from everybody. But I just, as I look at you now, I just see you all healed up and you're looking really, really bright. And I see big old angels all around you. And I feel so, so light. Yeah. And so you want to say, angels, stay with me, please. Angels, stay with me, please. Papa, right. stay with me, please. Okay. I saw, I saw several of these big purple angels, these, these big I am angels. I saw them just gathering around you. So there we go. Now your head feels a little bit light, a little bit dizzy. You have a sense of floating up. I see you floating up to the, uh, I, to the rapture heaven, actually. And I see them dipping you in holy water. And I see God cramming a new spirit in you. I mean, I see so many gifts coming to you at one time. I see God putting a crown on your head, a staff in your hand, and a big sword. So of Michael in you, in in your hand, and so there we go. You probably feel high, <laughs> kind of. I high. do. I feel high. I literally, yeah, I yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, this is a better high. Look at her eyes, guys. Look at her eyes. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, you feel. Yeah, that's crazy. You're all full of light. All right. So that's what these new angels can do. And so I can't wait to talk to the rest of you. And if you're all messed up, that's good. Call us. <laughs> anyway, Thank you. Me. I love you. You take Thank care. Thank you. I love you too. All right. See you soon. That's going to be good. Let us know. Let us know how you're feeling. Yes, I will. All right. Good. That's crazy. Uh, addictive demons are, are among the hardest ones to, to shake, get rid of, you know, makes people do something over and over that don't make any sense or that's bad for you. Uh, and so if we can do anything to get rid of that, believe me, we want to. And so who are we talking to, Michelle? What's up? Well, thank you, Gary. Let's go to El Elisa Giles. Elisa mm. I hope I said that right. It's either Elisa or Elisa. All right, Elisa, unmute yourself, please. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, yes. girl. What are you doing? Hi, Gary. Hi, listeners. Hi, chatters. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, yeah. so uh, my question is this. All right. My boss is completely targeting me at work. And okay. it went from micromanaging to humiliating me in front of customers. Now he's taking me to the main boss today to write me up. Yeah. And um, I, he really wants me to be fired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, you don't want to be fired, right? No, I need to keep my job. Okay. So you would beg. Beg? Beg. Okay. That's, beg, it, beg him. Beg everybody. Uh, and so, but if you feel, feel how your hands got warm? No. You feel your, okay, well, here, let me look. Okay, you got two or three big demons behind you. I'm going to get rid of those. Can I do that? Oh, absolutely. All right, there we go. And I also see an addictive demon behind you, just like the person earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I'm just getting rid of that. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and there, now I pulled this out of you. And when I did, I see your throat opening up. And I see your head opening up. I see your sinuses opening up. And I feel you getting warmer a little bit on your face. Can you feel that? I do. I do feel flush. Yep. Uh, okay, good. And that means the light's going right inside you. Uh, and so, and then I see this big, it's really happening quick. I see this mm -hmm. purple blue diamond move around your body mm -hmm. and just allow that to happen. And there you go. And then you just want to say, thank you, God. And then I heard go big and they won't fire you. Okay. And then there's something you got to learn in your, in your habit. Okay. So okay. you say, thank you, God, for the gifts. And thank, thank you. Thank you, angels. God, for all the gifts. Thank you, okay. angels. Thank you, okay. God. Okay. Now look how warm you got when you said, thank you. <laughs> yes, I do. I feel warm all over. When you said, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Let me go real slow. Did we learn anything <laughs> right there? Are right? you going to say thank you? Yes, 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 yes. Even when people are nasty, if you if you flip it around and you mm -hmm. don't, even though they're victimizing you, and, and I'm not saying that that didn't happen. I'm saying because I see it did a little bit. Uh, but then when you play into that, then they really get it going and they really tear you up. OK, um, these days, if you show up at the party, a victim, uh, they will victimize you. So you got to realize how to flip it around. Mm -hmm. And you go, you just have to say, I'm sorry. 
and you have to get humble and you have to get small and you have to say, really, I appreciate my job and tell me what I can do to keep it. You see, and I think if you go totally to humble um, and and in your mind, tell yourself, I will not be the victim. I will not be the victim. Say it. Say it out loud. I will not be the victim. I will not be the victim. There we go. Okay. And that's all you got to do is just know you're not the victim. And and so because you never want to play the victim in the movie. That's a dumb role to play. I'd rather be anything but the victim. No victim here. Right. And so, no. so, so you, you're going to be okay. Beg for the job and be thankful. And that's all you got to do. All right. And so, okay. All right. Your big, your big blue uh, diamond is all around you. Can you see that? You can see spiritually. So you can see that sort of, right? Can you see that? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought you could. All right. Good. All right. Take care of yourself. I love you. All right. All right. I love you too. Love your one. Good night. <laughs> all right. Thanks, honey. Good luck, Lisa. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Hopefully to help. Yay. Hey, Thanks. there we go. And so who we got? Okay, cool. Thank you. Let's go to another new person. Her name is Amy Casey. Amy Casey. Thank you. For Amy being Casey. Here. All right, Amy, unmute yourself, please. Hey, Amy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for letting me ask a question. It's my first time. Hi, Gary. Hey, girl. Hey, I'm glad to talk oh, to you. God. Uh, yes, I've been following you for a long time and it just the stars are aligning and I get to talk to you today. I'm so happy. Me too. Me um, too. Uh, I appreciate you um, taking my question, Gary. Um, I also, you know, just like a lot of us have abilities and I just wanted to see if you saw me at all uh, using my abilities to work with law enforcement and uh, perhaps help with um, missing people and cold cases, that sort of thing. Well, I think that's a very important thing to do. And some people that really want to do that or feel led to do that can do that very well. I, I do believe that's who you are. Um, and I'm experiencing, understand I got new angels and I'm trying to work with them to figure out how they work. <laughs> so I don't look like an idiot on a show somewhere later. Right. Uh, and so I'm seeing one of these big purple angels straight behind you and I want you to welcome that angel to step into your body because this angel is telling me it's a big purple angel. It's one of the big new I am purple angels, and it's right. wanting to step inside of you so you can be your highest you. Is that okay? Yes, it has. It has okay. my permission. Okay, and there. And so say, please step inside of me. Please, please do please. step inside me. And become one with me. Become one with me. Okay, now raise your hand up and take its hand. There you go. Feel how dizzy you got? Yes, buzzy. Yeah. What did that feel like? Very buzzy sort of feeling. Okay, now you're starting to sweat a little. I can see that. And allow that angel to step right inside your body. Now then, your sinus is open. Your throat's real warm. You got warm all the way to your toes. Real hot, actually. Feel that? Yes, I do. Okay, now you have one of these big new purple I am angels that are that's inside of you. I've never seen this before. Okay, this okay. is the first time I've seen this, uh, and this will allow you to be your biggest you. I, I worked on a case a few years ago that was haunting me, and I felt led to do it. Um, and it was uh, some of you guys might remember it was in the news. It was one of the biggest case, one of the biggest missing persons cases that's ever been in, in the world uh it was lacey peterson remember lacey peterson that whole case you guys some of you guys yeah. and so uh it was really crazy because i was i was uh going to sleep and and um and for some reason my head was just really hung in this case and and i went and i was lying lying down i was at the time i was in ojai and and I, I went to lay down and i suddenly saw this shimmery thing it looked almost like the the, the screen in front of me this doing its wiggle thing right the virtual set and and so but it was it was like this shimmering water uh and i i was looking at this shimmering water <clears throat> and then i looked through the water and i saw a dead body in the water and it was lacey peterson's face and it freaked me out it startled me a little bit and i don't usually get rattled you know okay. uh, and i heard her voice and her voice said you can help me gary you can help me wonderful 
And, you know, and, and I, I kind of went, oh, no, 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 no. I, I am not the psychic that runs down somebody that's a, a family having a hard time. You know, I'm not going to run you down because every other psychic in the world is trying to get on the get in in, in on the on the media, you know. And I thought, no, nah, I can't. I, I got media. I ain't going to. That's not what I'm going to do. Uh, and and um, but I thought I'll, I'll try. I'll send light. I'll pray for you. I hope they find you. And, and so anyway. I was still haunted by this. And the next day her father called me, Oh wow! you know, and uh, Terry, who's sometimes on the podcast, a friend of, of her, her dad's, um, Dennis, um, got, got us all in touch. And, and anyway, um, and I remember, you know, telling them, um, that I, I saw her, I, I read Dennis, her father. And I said, I see her body and, 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 um, the body's in two places. And I didn't understand that, but the ba the baby was in one place and she was in another because she was pregnant at the time. So I remember this case, and so I really had a sense of of helping, and even after the fact, helping uh, with a lot of things. I told them, and so it was really a crazy, crazy uh, case where I, I know I contributed uh, to to many things there that ended up being you know, the outcome of figuring it out. And so, so I think that you're going to have that gift now. And so when I said that your feet got real hot, so I think you can help out the police and I think you can help out if that's what you'd like to do. Um, Thank you. that's yeah. what you can do. If you feel led to do it, you can do it. I do and, Gary, and, you know, I've been doing the work, um, for about 22 years now doing mediumship and psychic work, you know, and healing when I, I can. can. And yeah. uh, just this past year, I've just been drawn more and more towards these unsolved cases. And I just wanted to see if I was just one of the many, or if this is something maybe I should really pursue. All I know is the biggest angels I've ever saw. Just one of them just jumped in you. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you so uh, much. I so that's good. It. Let us know the difference. You know, check in with us and let us know how you're feeling. Let that's us know what both. you noticed that you can do now that you couldn't do. Let okay. us know what you're doing tomorrow that you didn't do yesterday. Thank and, you and so, so much. Yeah, and I, you're welcome. But I think these Thank angels you. that are showing up now uh, are bringing us this these uh, really um, big gifts. And and let's see what what happens. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you. Good luck, honey. It feels good. It feels like she's going to help some folks. Yeah, I love it. You, me. I love Aww. it. I think that's what a lot of people want to do. A lot of people just want to help people. You mm -hmm. want to help folks. You want to help out people. And so, and, and make things better. Well, I think you're going to be able to, and I'm so happy that I see heaven really cooperating and, 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 you know, giving us gifts to do it with. So who we got, who we talking to? Thanks, Gary. Let's go to Kathy Machepi. Machepi. I hope I said that right. <laughs> okay, Kathy, unmute yourself. Hi. Oh, there you go, girl. You look like you're on the moon. I'm telling you, it looks rather blue where you are. <laughs> oh, that's flashlight. Um, in his new, in his music room. Oh, okay. I get to share it from my computer. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks neat. It looks, it looks neat. It looks like you're calling from the space station or something. Right. So you know. I might be. No. Oh, no. So no. tell us, tell us what's up. What's going on? What's your question? What's About your comment? Ten years ago. You know how you're on Facebook and you run into somebody who's always positive and sharing positive uh, reaffirmations. And I started following him 10 years ago. We never messaged or anything. I just always liked what he had to write. He lives in India. His name is Raul. Uh, recently, he stopped writing. And I, I went ahead and I messaged him and asked if he was okay. What happened is... Um, he had an accident hiking, and he he uh, injured his hand very severely and went into the hospital, had two surgeries on his hand, was in there two months. He's 40 years old. He got COVID while he was there. Well, he had a banking job, and he got terminated from his banking job because of his hand. He's on the verge of losing his place um, and having to forfeit his dog. Okay. No family to help them. And so I just, um, I did try to set up a GoFundMe account, but the U.S. won't let me, the U.S. doesn't support, GoFundMe doesn't support India, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I've been PayPaling him. Oh, me and one or two other people. Um, so what are you asking? What do you think we need to do? You, What's your you question? See, you see him being okay because he seems very depressed. 
Well, I think he brings in a lot of light to a lot of folks. Um, and I think that he's been recently kind of betrayed by people that he thought would be on his side. And a lot of people are going through that lesson uh, where you get betrayed by people that you thought were on your side. And, and so this is a lesson in, in, in oneness somehow, uh, but I'm, I'm just clearing him off. And so he has a big black blob around him and I just cleared it off. And, uh, and I think he'll feel better and I think he'll do good. I felt your hands get warm and I felt your whole body get light. There you go. And, and so, you know, um, I invited him to the Keys of Heaven Facebook page. And he's been, cause I wanted to see if, you know, we could uplift him there on a daily basis. And he's actually been posting quite a bit of stuff there, but he doesn't like to ask for help and he hasn't said anything about this to anybody. I just want everybody to kind of maybe uh, just send feeling light for him. Well, that's what I just did. And I think everybody yeah. else just did too. And so I wish, I wish your friend well. Um, and, and so since I wished that I'm watching these purple angels, uh, go and I see them lighting him up and he looks rather, rather neon colored right now. Uh, and notice how your feet got real warm. Feel mm -hmm. that? Yeah. It looks sort of like that. So I see these purple angels really That's doing their number cool. on him. So, so, Hey, do you know what will happen? Let's wait and see, or you call us and let us know. But I uh, will. He looks, he looks good. He, he's not depressed now. He had a lot of dark energy in his head and now he don't. Um, and so he looks good. Okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks, girl. Thank love you. Love you, Gary. And love you back. <laughs> and so there's a, you know, I, it occurred to me when I was talking, guys, to her, I, I was reading and I was thinking, what can I do for this poor guy in India that's going through something? And I saw a spiritual gift um, that will allow more light. See, all these big beings are showing up on the planet because all these dark beings beings are showing up on the planet too. Uh, and so they are, they are trying of course, and succeeding, I think, in bringing in way more light than dark. I see everything being okay in spite of all the crazy problems today, which Lord knows we have plenty. So, um, I see uh, this one thing that is a barrier and lately I've been clearing these barriers. Uh, and God gave me the gift of a hammer and I cracked this barrier and it looked like a black um, glass ceiling that shattered and then a, a light comes in. I see one of those that's really thick. It looks more like black volcanic rock above all your heads above the planet. And so ask God for the spiritual gift of a golden hammer, please. Say, God, give me the spiritual gift of a golden hammer. And now I see the, the golden hammer actually changing to a purple hue. And then I want you guys to take this golden hammer and I want you to say thank you, God, for the golden hammer. And I want you to crack this glass ceiling above your house up in the sky. Just imagine yourself cracking this glass ceiling and pound away at it. You see your hammer getting bigger and bigger and bigger as you pound. There you go. And you actually cracked it. I see it. And so I see all this and I see this black volcanic rock looking ceiling glass ceiling above your heads opening up and i see all this light coming down dimensionally to your body uh, i in my physical body now with this dark energy cracked off from the planet uh, from the inside out i see all this purple light coming in as i feel this purple light coming in i notice my hands are hot my sinuses are opening and i'm empathing you guys that's happening and where i'm sitting in in my chair uh, I, I, I felt me get warm. I felt my butt get warm and my legs get warm as I'm sitting in the chair. And so, and you guys probably, I think you have the same kind of feeling. If you allow that light to come in, imagine purple beams and golden light coming down into your bodies. This will help heal you, help fix you and give you energy. I feel, I feel so energized from this. I feel really, really bright and really, really good. Wow. Who we got, Michelle, who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. Let's go to Brooke. Please, B-R-O-O-K. Okay, Brooke, unmute yourself, please. Thank you, Brooke. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hi, hey. Hey, girl. What's your question? Where are you from? Where are you from? I actually listened to you on B103.9 out in Fort Myers, Florida. Mm. So, Great. Um, Big mama. Yes. Yeah, so that's <laughs> good. Every day on my way to work. Every Tuesday on my way to work. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. Keep listening. I've been on that show for like a long time. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, who, yeah. yeah. And so what's your question, Brooke? 
My question tonight is um, in reference to my marriage. Uh, we just had our two year anniversary. We've been together for about six years um, and things have become rocky. Mm -hmm. He can be kind of mean, um, mm -hmm. blames me for most of the problems and it's really started to affect me. Mm -hmm. So my question to you, Gary, is, is this worth the energy and emotions to continue or should I think about moving on? Well, let me, let me answer that. Okay. And so, um, if I go and clear him off, um, I see him, the vision I get is him falling to his knees and begging you to please don't leave him. And so that's his higher self. This is his soul self, right? Um, and I see this is where you have your soul connection, but he was really blocked and he had a lot of dark energies. It came from his family. Um, this was old traumas. Does that make any sense to you? Yes, it does. Okay. And so, but I, I, I actually just annihilated those and just pushed them away. And I saw, I saw them all burn up. So that's good. Um, and so I feel <clears throat> that you guys are probably going to be able to work through this. That's what I think. I think on a scale of one to 10, you like him a negative two, which means you hate him a little bit. Uh, yes. I think, I think on a scale of one to 10, you love him. Well, you still love him an eight and a half. That's loving him as a human. So you still love him. Uh, and on a scale of one to 10, you're passionate, passionately in love with him. Nah, you're not going anywhere. A nine. You're still in, <laughs> yeah. So you're in still, still in love with your idiot. He's your idiot. He's an idiot, but he's your idiot. And, yes. and so, so honey, you ain't, you're not going to go nowhere. So to ask a question, should I just move on? Well, yeah, if you think you can, but you can't because you're too in love with him. You're not going anywhere. And so on a scale of one to 10, he likes you at eight and a half, um, which is good, uh, because you're likable. He's not. Um, and so, and, um, he loves, he, he loves you as a human being, a 12. He thinks you're an amazing human and he's in love with you a 14. Yeah. So, so you guys, you guys are just going through hell and you're really, he was real possessed, but I peeled this off of him had to do with old traumas that come to fruition and popped out. See, what happens is you'll have all these old traumas that are really in you and, and they're buried in there somewhere and they come up and on the surface and they come, they pop in you and then they come out and that's what he has happening. And so, but I just pulled all these old traumas off of him. Uh, you could simply ask God and the angels and say, angels and God, please give my husband a new heart. God and the angels, please give my husband a new heart. Threw a big old purple heart right in him. And ask, ask for one for yourself and look how you feel. Try it. God and the angels, please give me a new heart. Okay, there you go. Big old heart, bigger than you, went into your body, feeling warm all over, all the way to the, for like a bone level, all the way to your feet and your hand. How's that feel? I actually felt it in my chest. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, it went in your chest, but I see you lighting up all over when that happened. You look like a series of fireworks. Yeah. What does it feel like? What does it feel like? Uh, hope. Yeah. Now you, now you, you love him, right? Yeah. yeah. I feel a lot more hope. Yeah. Well, look, don't, don't do, instead, change that hope to belief and just believe that everything's going to be okay. Just believe everything's going to be okay. Now think of him. I want you to think. Let me get rid of a couple of little things. All right. Are you close with your mom? How do you do with your mom? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty close, but it's been a little bit more distant lately because my sister lives there and she's an alcoholic, and it's been tough, kind of unbearable. Yeah. yeah. You're you're sort of becoming the bad side of your mom. <laughs> okay. And so you don't want to be your mom. I'm sure you love your mom. You don't want to be her, but you're becoming her. And so you're letting your mom make decisions about your husband, which is probably a bad idea. Okay. And so, and I'm clearing this off of you as we speak. Um, now then I got your mom out of you. Now you won't <laughs> become her. See how good you feel now. Now you feel really light. And so you were becoming your mom. And okay. so and now that I want you to think your husband. Okay. See, now you love him. Look at that. <laughs> How you feel? I feel better. <laughs> okay. All right. Work on it. Work on it. He's worth the trouble. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I peeled, I peeled all these demons off, off of him too. He's going to feel good. So if you try right now, quit keeping score. Does your mom keep score? No, but me and my husband do. <laughs> stop, stop. You just got to stop. Okay. And so, so yeah, stop. Don't keep score. That's passive aggressive. If you have a passive aggressive relationship, uh, which you guys do, uh, you got to stop it because otherwise it ensures the end of the relationship. Okay. I agree. All right. All right. You know what to do. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Take care of yourself, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who we got? Who we got, guys? Thank you, Brooke. Okay. Let's go to Sherry S. Sherry S. Hi, Sherry. Sherry S. Unmute yourself, Sherry. There you Hi. go. Uh, hold on, Sherry. Unmute yourself again. There you go. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, girl. What's your question? Hi. Thank you Hi. so much for your hey, time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my son, for the last four years, he's just been experiencing like these energy crashes. Mm -hmm. and then he gets like a swollen feeling at the back of his head and then he's just exhausted for weeks and mm -hmm. i'm going to take him to a specialist to see what's going on i'm wondering if he'll figure it out or what do you see possibly causing this mm. well i see a lot of different things and i think sometimes he may have little seizures it looks like these seizures happen in his sleep does that huh. are, are you aware of this no but he yeah, does have I, yeah Sorry, he says sometimes he just can't sleep or he wakes up, yeah, feeling well, weird. Yeah, well, the reason he wakes up feeling weird, I think he's going through little seizures in his sleep. So I do see that happening. And sometimes this is even a result of different medications. Does he, he's on some medications, right? Yes, hormonal he, ones that he has to take, yeah. He seems like he's in, you know, I feel like some of them are necessary. Maybe they're the yeah. wrong dosage. Okay. It's all over the place. So I think if he got his medications really fine honed, this would help him out. Uh, but I do see him going through little seizures. And so uh, I think that's a place to start with the doctors. And I think they'll figure it out really quick, actually. So thank you. Uh, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. And I, I don't... cleared it, and I cleared him off. He looks pretty good now. He looks pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't mean to impose. My mom just um, recently passed. Is she okay? She had dementia. Like, does she know that she's like... She's she's funny. Was she funny when she was alive? Yes. Yeah. You know, she said, "I'm bat s crazy." And, uh, <laughs> she she that was her words. Would she talk Aww. like that sometimes? Right. And so. Um, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so she's just making jokes about being crazy, uh, but she says not now. And so she's in heaven. She's feeling good. She's not bat crazy. And uh, she's uh, she loves you a whole lot. And she says thanks for putting up with her junk. You know, and so so she blows you a big kiss. Thank you for asking, she says. And she's Aww. kicking you down gold. So I see Aww. her kicking you down gold, which is kicking you down wealth uh, from heaven. A lot of times our family members on the other side can actually give us wealth yeah. and give us abundance. And that's what she's doing. So she cares about Thank your money. So good luck. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck so much. Thank you. Thank you good both. Luck. There Thank we you, go. Sherry. Hey, you know what? You know, and Michelle Dean, you know, it's crazy because a minute ago, we were talking to this person and she was having a time with her, uh, uh, with her, her husband, man. And, you know, and she's going to get mad and leave and she won't know if she should go. And I said, you're not going anywhere cause you love him too much. And, and then, you know, yeah, they're passive aggressive and you know, they're keeping score. I got seven points. You only got seven, <laughs> not quite seven, you know? So everybody, you know, blah, blah, blah. I felt you and Dean going, what the hell? <laughs> No, you probably felt me. I was like, who keeps score? Oh my God. Why do you keep score? I don't even want to keep score if I'm in a baseball game. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, who can who can apologize first? Who can say sorry first? <laughs> uh, first sorry. Yeah, well, those are good things. And so that's where you guys should like, you know, I, I think it's really good when when you do see people and they are they're happy, right? Uh and they do and they love each other and they're one with each other. It is easy. It is so yeah. easy. Yeah. 
I'm so right. thankful. So easy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> trust me, I've had my relationships in the past. Not easy. I don't yeah. want to go back to that. <laughs> yeah. And it's an energy. It's a, it's a crazy connection, you know, and I think a lot of probably everybody knows the story because we've told it a lot of times, but we were, Dean and I, we were in Las Vegas doing a live show and there was, I don't know, it was like seven or 800 people in the room. Uh, and we're at stations casino. I remember the casino room and, um, and Michelle stands up this, but at this point we didn't know who Michelle was, but she's this hot Filipino girl and she stands up in the crowd and everybody's like, Oh my God, she's hot. Right. And, uh, and she goes, Gary, who is my soulmate? And I simply went, Dean's your soulmate. You know, of course the crowd laughs. Right, like and, as if it was a Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, right. And so but there's no so, Santa Claus. <laughs> what Michelle? You, there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Good arguing. Anyway, and so I'll beat you with the newspaper. So anyway, but there, but it was interesting because then you guys, uh, you you kind of did exchange numbers or talk for a minute, and then and then ten years later, you came to a workshop in Las Vegas, and. Yep. Uh, and Lord knows, I can't remember people that not that well. And, uh, and, and so, and you stood up and you asked the same question, who is my soulmate? Yeah. And, and, and I said, Dean's your soulmate. And, yeah. and I said, I've told you this 10 years ago. Why didn't you, you remember? Did. And so, and so, but understand, I can't remember like that. There's a place that you have psychic memory. And up in the cosmos out there somewhere, I, my psychic memory remembered that I talked to you and I remembered that vibration where you were Dean's soulmate. And I simply said, I don't know if you've experienced any idiots in the last 10 years, but I know damn sure he has because I had to endure them. And you so, and, <laughs> right. Remember? And, and I said, but you know, you know, honey, I, I, you're really sweet, but you should just go home with Dean and, and shut the hell up and never leave. And you did. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? I better listen to you this time. <laughs> right? Yeah, because I sure screwed it up the other way. And so, <laughs> and, and so anyway, meanwhile, you know, I was going to the next city doing shows and stuff. And, and, and I'm like, hey, Dean, you know, I, I'm leaving. Like, we're leaving day after tomorrow. He goes, I'm going to stay in town a few days. And anyway, yeah. so, so there we are. And so and here we are. And here you guys are. Yep. So, 10 years thank later. You, Gary. Thank you so much. Yeah, but there's a vibration of soulmate connection. And if you guys want one, you can get one. You do have to be, you know, you can't be so dumb. You don't get it when you feel it, you know? So you got to realize you have to cooperate with the angels. You know, angels are like, you know, human beings are pretty thick sometimes, you know? Um, but the energy of passive aggressive insanity, uh, really is painful. And especially if you are with your soulmate, a lot of times people are truly soulmates, truly connected. Uh, you got this magic about you and you're going through passive aggressive hell. And that's like, come to me, I love you. Get away from me, I hate you. Come to me, I love you. Get away from me, you know, whatever. That's that's too much work. And quit keeping score. Stop it. Just stop it. And so, and or these days, the angels seem to be teaching us really pretty aggressive lessons. And I don't know if any of you guys feel like a nice aggressive lesson today, but probably not. You can learn your lessons instead of live them. Stop being passive aggressive. And so, and you'll find you, your relationship uh, will probably straighten right out. I hope so. And so, uh, but I can feel you guys. I can feel Dean and Michelle. I can feel you guys <laughs> going, oh, good Lord. You know, because yeah, once you, once you figure it out and you get it, you could never imagine doing that. You could just never imagine it. it can, it's not in your head, you know? And so anyway, who are we talking to? Who we got? Thank you so much, Gary. Well, um, yes, let's go, and go to Estefani Stetcher. Estefani. Thank you for being patient, Estefani. Estefani. All right, Estefani, unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Hi, Gary. Hi. Hey, girl. So, What's your question? Um, my boyfriend's dad got diagnosed with bone cancer, I think, in March. Right. And I just was wondering if you could help me clear him. Yeah, I can. And so there we go. I, 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 when I went to clear him, I saw this beautiful purple light coming from these I am purple angels, and I saw it just go through his body. <sighs> now I feel like I can breathe a lot better. Are they hitting him with two different types of medications now? Are they going with two different types of chemos or two different a chemo and a radiation, or do you know? I know there's a chemo that he's doing. He's doing, I think, a pill form. Um, and then there was some, it, he's, doing, he's doing his treatment at the Mayo Clinic. Okay. But I only know about the pill form of chemo. And my boyfriend mentioned that they're possibly going to try and 
scrape out the cancer. Okay. Well, what I'm um, seeing is I just see that there's two different treatments they're going to use. Um, and I feel great about them. So thank God I okay. feel great about them. You know, I'd send lots of light, lots of love. Um, I wish them all good. Okay. And okay. so, but I see him, I see him glowing, um, in a way I've never saw anyone glow before. Okay. Good. What does that mean? Thank you. I don't know, but I imagine it must be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know because these new I angels, will. these new angels, like I said, I got my angels changed out. I got these the new different angels and they are really doing stuff. And so, uh, but I see him uh, glowing in a beautiful purple hue, uh, blue tones. Really, Good. He's really a great guy. <laughs> yeah. No, it feels like that. Does he like cars? Uh, I'm not. I mean, he has his nice pickup truck he bought not too long ago. <laughs> okay. I think that he's going to get to, I hear he's going to get to enjoy his cars. So the pickup truck, Good. that's probably what I'm seeing. Um, and so he's going to get to enjoy that because he loves it, I think. Right. Yes, that I do know. <laughs> okay, well, that's I'm just telling you that so you know I know what I'm talking about, and so so. But he's I see him really enjoying uh, his car, so or his truck in his case. Good. Okay, all right. Thank you, Gary. Hey, good luck. Good luck. Oh, thank you, everybody. Yes, <laughs> I felt warm then. I felt so warm. I got, you know, uh, from my own personal experience working with these new angels, I felt really light uh, working with healing, sending healing light to to her father-in-law, uh, it was like really crazy. And I got, I got sort of super, super high from that. And so what's the best energy? Well, the best energy, if you do work with healing somebody, when you heal them, you get healed. Uh, and so whatever just occurred, I, I think I helped with the healing of, of the person she's talking about there. And, uh, and, uh, I, I think when you, when you work with someone and you feel them getting healed, you get healed. And so realize guys that you should heal as many and as much as you can, because the more you heal, the more you get healed. It works like that. Who are we talking to? Oh, thanks Gary. Okay. Let's go to Teresa Lewis. All right. Teresa Lewis. All right, Teresa, unmute yourself, please. Thanks for waiting. Hi. Hi. Hey girl. Hey, what's your question, honey? Um, I just want to make sure that, um, I don't know, I've got so much, so I'll just pick one. Um, you know, since we're on the husband and the wife thing here lately, I'm just trying to do me and I've always like given, given, given to everybody else. And I'm having a really, really hard time dealing with my husband after 30 something years. Mm -hmm. right. And I know he's my idiot, but I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm having a hard time with like, I think if he, I, think that, it, I guess, uh, thank God he's not your, your pet because you would take him to the veterinarian and I would. put to sleep for sure. I, I, I'm I seeing probably. that I'm getting visions about, you know, drown him, drown him, <laughs> uh, pillow over his head, 99, 99, pop off. I'm a good uh, person, Gary. Uh, don't say No, I see you got psycho <laughs> demons. You are crazy. You, you got psycho demons. that makes you want to put a pillow <laughs> over his, his head. <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> right. Uh, right? Well, I've said it out yeah. loud before, but I'd never yeah. do it. I wouldn't yeah. do it. Right. I'm going to put a pillow over your head if you, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Your cornflakes. How do I there. make that better? Like, I feel like I'm being greedy trying to fix me, but yeah. I know that's not no. greedy. But. Eat your cornflakes, arsenic boy. Mm. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, you've 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 kind of went crazy here because you actually do want to kill him for real. Uh, and do you have insurance on him? I do not. Well, oh. I might to work, yeah, but oh, no, I, yeah. Well, that's good, you know. And so, don't get. I heard and your angel said, "Don't give her ideas." <laughs> so <laughs> I'm having fun with you. Um, let me look and see what do we do with him. Uh, I don't think he means to do anything wrong. And see, that's what I think too. He's just there. So what well, do he, I do? How do I fix me not to be pissed so off? Angry. Yeah. Yeah. You're just mad. You're just mad. Okay. So you ask God for the spiritual gift to get rid of your anger with. And so okay. you say, God, please give me the spiritual gift of a sword to get rid of my anger with. God, please give me the spiritual gift to get of rid of my anger. 
Okay, and it comes in a sword. I want you to reach up and grab it. It's a big sword. Uh, it has a crook at the top, which lets me know it's the sword of Michael. And so I want you to just clear your head and go all the way around your body. And I see all these black boxes around your body. And I want you to clear all those black boxes. You, had a, you have a black box on your head. You have one on your throat and one on your heart. And there we go. Now just clear. Anytime you, I see a black box, that means anger. And so you have all this anger on you. Now just clear this yeah. off. And there we are. And I see it on one leg. And now it's actually causing you problems in the leg. You have issues in your leg? You feel I it? am. Yeah. What is that? What's wrong with it? Do you know? I don't. Yeah, sciatic hurts. nerve maybe yeah, yeah I it's all, but i feel it all messed up and going into de deterioration and so i'm clearing this off of you and that comes from your black boxes so your anger is actually making you decay and get sick okay and so and then i see this black uh black box on your lower back and i'm pulling yes. this off i'm pulling this off your lower back look how warm your back got what does that feel like really hot okay there we go and now I pulled it again off the your neck, top of your neck. What does that feel like? Like I could breathe a little better. Okay. All right. And so now I just got rid of everything around you. And I use these new purple angels to do it with. Thank you, purple angels. Thank and so you. there we go. And thank you, God. And so what happens, your all your your problems are coming from your anger. I know. Okay. I, I'm asking to get rid of that. Well, I just did. But I'm just... Yeah, just no but. No but. Quit looping. That's what all you're right. doing now. But here, let me tell you about all my problems one more time. All together now. All together. All right. my, husband, my husband, I want to kill him. I'm going to kill my husband. I'm going to drown him. No, I'm going to put him to sleep. No. Hmm. I'm, anyway, I'm going to poison him. Anyway, you're totally psycho. I love it. And so, not. You really are. And so that's okay, though. And so I'm just pulling, I'm pulling all your psycho demons off of you. See, when you have anger, Thank when you, you have anger demons, sometimes you get psycho demons. You got psycho demons. Then you got all these other things. And and that's the reason your your body is, is messing up because you don't have any light in your body because you're pissed off. So you got to quit being, you want to fix yourself selfishly, quit being pissed off. And then okay. you're going to, and then you're going to heal up and you're going to be fine. And so there we go. And you had a, still a, one more black box on your heart and take your sword and clear your heart with it. Clear your heart with your sword. And that's how you get rid of the anger. Okay. Keep and, asking for that new heart, that golden heart. Well, there, they just gave you one there now you got it let's see you had a black box on your heart but they're not going to throw you down a bunch of spiritual gifts if you're all pissed off it's almost if you're all pissed off here's what the i think the angels hear it this way uh angels give me my damn gifts <laughs> they're probably not going to do that because you're you're pissed off quit being pissed off Okay. Uh, and so okay. there we go. And now that I saw all this just blow up and evaporate and go away. And I also saw projections from your mother. How was your mom? Dead. Yeah, but besides being dead, was she how was she when she was alive? Um drugged up all the time. She had epilepsy, so she took a lot of um pain pills and all kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, so. she, had a, she had a lot of anger. Anyway, I just cleared this. Oh, probably she anger. was always mad at my real dad. So okay. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, so you're just becoming her. Oh, uh, I don't want that for sure. Mm, you had it. Really? I'm you done. Yeah, you become her. And so uh you don't want to be her. And so, so right. I'm sure you love her. God rest her soul on the other side, whatever, but right. you, you don't want to be her. And so right. you were becoming her. She hated your dad. You hate your husband. What the hell? Why not? You know? <laughs> and so she got sick. She got sick. Listen to this. She got sick from sick, all of her, yeah. from all of her anger. You were doing the same thing. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm yeah. better. Yeah. And I'm are. always going to be. You happy. actually are. You actually I are. Did. You actually are better. I see this beautiful angel wings that came out of your back, and so, uh -huh. so, so it will be interesting. Your husband will wonder what happened. He'll be like, "What in the world?" You know. <laughs> and so he's a good guy. Treat him good. I like him. Actually, okay. I like him. He's okay. a good guy. If you if you, you ever thought about humoring him or patronizing him or telling him anything he's ever done good in this lifetime, try that. I bet it works. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Lots, lots of love to you. Lots All of right. love.
Right. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you, God. You. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Hey, there we go. And you meant it. I could feel it. it I, could I feel do mean it. it. Yeah. I do mean it. I yeah. really do. Uh, it felt good. I love you. You take care of yourself. There we Thank go. you, Gary. Yeah. So, so look at that. So, Dean, you got to be a little careful. And when Michelle gets a little older, she could put you to sleep. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. I can't she stop gets, her. You know, she gets that funny look in her eyes. She's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of tired of you, you old <laughs> bastard. You know, I'm tired of you. Now I'm to sleep with one eye open. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'll, I'll be cuddling him instead. I'll oh, you'll be. Him to death. That'll be the best way. Smother him to death. Uh, <laughs> something's wrong with her something's yes. really something's really wrong with her in a really good way I love that's her. why i love her because something's wrong with her yeah i do too i miss you michelle by the way i miss you you know i'll be I'm, seeing you soon yeah. yeah i'll see you soon i'll see you in ojai i'll see you in ojai beautiful ojai california hey we're having a spiritual retreat there guys uh about a month away you guys still got time uh if you're not signed up i mean we are going to sell out i'm telling you uh, because we only got a few more spots and this is going to be great. We got all these new things happening in the cosmos. Thank God. Literally, there we are. Spiritual retreat. Oh, hi, California, August 5th through the 8th. And uh, all you got to do is call the office, of course, 800-827-GARY. Or you can call Michelle and she is the world's most um, gifted concierge. Oh, and so 702-822-0548, okay. 702-822-0548. Uh, you can certainly email her to uh, michelle at garyspivey.com. Uh, but, uh, and, and Michelle, you know, everybody's, you know, people are, are talking to me in private readings and, and yelling at me and saying, oh, my God, you know, Michelle, like, took care of everything. She worked it out. She got me a ride from the airport. She told me this. She told me that. She got me hooked up with somebody who was coming in at the same time. I don't even, you know, and you can remember all this. I can't imagine keeping all that stuff in my head. I do. Yeah. I memorize everybody's first name, last name, and then their, what day, where they're staying and everything. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. How do you do that? I don't know how you do that. But anyway, thank God you do. Yeah. So call Michelle. What's your number one more time? If somebody wants to book the spiritual retreat, which is uh, coming up uh, the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th next month in beautiful Ojai, California. I know all these energy vortexes because I live there forever. And uh, and so I'm going to take you to these special energy spots of healing and 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 light. And uh, we'll, we're going to have fun. Anyway, it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna take you to the beach. We're going to the beach. Yeah, hey. Anyway, okay. some some of you guys probably never been to the Pacific Ocean. If not, this is gonna be fun. And so we're gonna be on top of the mountain doing stuff. There's there's all these spots that are my favorite spots to meditate. And so so I'm gonna drag you to all these places. We're gonna have a good time. And so um, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. And so and what's your number? One more time. Throw it out there. Oh yes, seven zero two eight two two zero five four eight. 702-822-0548. Perfect. <laughs> Call her up. Anyway. Uh, so who we got? Who are we talking to, fellas? Oh, thank you, Gary. Thanks for letting me get a couple more people. Um, okay. So the next one was Sandra Teodoro. Sandra Teodoro. Yep. Okay, you. Sandra. Unmute you yourself. <laughs> yeah, guys, the baby. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm her daughter. So she was just... Oh, um, doing it for me um what's it called so Gary I'm just having some uh long story short you took a reptile demon off of my husband and I feel like it's back um but, but how so did he like, act okay how did he act no I'm, if, if, it was it was a nightmare um before and then after you took it off it was like a completely different person like it was more reasonable like you can talk sense into him right um I felt like it was like back when we first met and so he, it was that but my point is 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 it was that great of a change mm -hmm. yes and nothing it was like happened. overnight overnight okay see what happens is guys if you have there's different entities that hit the planet just like i'm talking about these new angels uh that hit the planet uh that's a big deal and so but it's also a big deal in a negative way when you have the dark entities hit the planet one of the worst entities that hits the planet every now and then is a reptilian reptilians are real uh, uh real horrible entities that jump in and mutilate people they make people hate each other uh they work in tandem 
and they can jump in you. They'll jump in your spouse. The next thing you know, you guys hate each other. They jump in you. They jump in another family member. You hate each other. It could be even riding down the road in traffic. They jump in you. They jump in another driver. Then the next thing you know, you guys fight. You do this, and somebody shoots you. That's what I'm saying. These things wreak havoc. And so I saw, obviously, I saw one uh, in your spouse. And so, and I, and I got rid of it and it was a night and day difference. And now you think something's come back, right? Yes. And like his health, like everything's just. Okay. Gone. Let me, let yeah. me look. Okay. Um, have you had the vaccine? I have. He has not. Okay. Um, sometimes some people, are you native American? What are you? We both are. Oh God. Okay. See native. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is. You're a bright light. You're Native American. The bad news is you're a bright light. You're Native American. <laughs> and so bright light people are natural, brilliant, bright light people. Uh, if something hits the planet, guess who gets it first? You Us. see? Uh, you really do. And so that's what's going on. And so um, I, I, I've got a spiritual gift. This will sound really bizarre and crazy to you guys. But there's, there's, uh, you know, everybody's asking me about this vaccine, and you can tell I'm mixed emotion on everything. Uh, there's a new spiritual gift that I can get you to clear the dimension where the vaccine has negative side effects. Okay? This is a very big deal. It could help you or, uh, and keep you from, from whatever is going on. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of people, when they get the vaccine, it brings in a certain darkness that's it's actually even hard to see spiritually speaking like i have to look a different way and it's in this little thin dimension but it's incredibly dark and i have to fi figure it out right <clears throat> when i talk to god about it god calls it the synthetic dimension synthetic dimension there's a term for you uh the synthetic dimension is because it's a synthetic energy it's man-made uh, while it may do something really wonderful, like uh, keeping you from getting the virus, which is incredible, uh, it might do a few things negative to some people. Some people not. Some people, yes. Some people not. Um, there's a spiritual gift that I can show you how to get where you can clear yourself or family members. And I only figured this gift out in the last week, and this will sound really silly to you. Uh, since it's, in, it's a synthetic dimension, God put the spiritual gift in the vibration of a plastic knife. Okay. As wacky as that sounds, you can't write this stuff, but this is a very effective gift to get to clear this synthetic dimension. So in your mind's eye, a lot of you guys are thinking he's crazy. Now he's lost his mind. Purple angels, plastic knife whatever synthetic dimension, but, but watch this. Okay. When I'm looking at you uh, now, you've had some little weird head things going since you got the vaccine, right? Yeah. You had headaches or what's going on your eyes. You feel different up in here. Yeah. I just like, um, I feel like my light um, has gone down. I don't know how to explain that. I work with cancer and patients. I just haven't been feeling the same since mm -hmm. the vaccine. I feel like, like mm -hmm. a little fog over my eyes, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it does make sense. Now I want to show you something cool. I'm using this particular spiritual gift that God gave me of, a, of it looks like a little white plastic knife. <laughs> and, and I'm clearing, I'm clearing you with this in this synthetic dimension there. I just did it. And there, how do you feel? I feel like better. Look at her eyes, guys. Look how bright her eyes are. <laughs> See? How are you feeling now? I feel like I could take a deep breath again and smile. And she's smiling. Look at that, guys. <laughs> yeah. I only use, I'm telling you, I only used one gift. I cleared this synthetic dimension where she got darkened down because the vaccine for her darkened her down a bit. And so not everybody for her, it did that. She's Native American. She's a really bright light. The good news is she's a bright light. And a lot of you guys are really bright lights. So use this gift. Say, God, please give me a gift of a, of a, there you go, a plastic yeah. knife <laughs> to clear <laughs> the synthetic dimension it. with. Yeah. As silly as that sounds. So and there we go. And if you notice now, you're all feeling that cleared yourself with this gift hot. You feel hot. You don't feel anything but a lot of warmth. Interesting. I only figured this out last week. There we are.
I always try to find an antidotal cure from whatever darkness is beating y'all up or beating me up. And so there we go. And so now that's going to really, really help you out. Look how you feel now. I can see, I can see you getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. That's crazy. <laughs> so hot like look at I you you're smiling fire. and you're laughing you got all these <laughs> before you were like woozy whoa my husband's in, you know, he's possessed again. Woe's he, woe. you know yeah and, see, and now is that can you guys see the difference in her is I that see the crazy difference big time yeah i felt yeah. it i felt like red she's glowing yeah. Look at her. yeah yeah because you got your light and then some back in you you will overcome the darkness that your husband has now because you are so bright. Now I'm going to clear him. He's empathing you and that's why he got dark and crazy. Interesting, right? Yeah. He, yeah. I feel he just empaths everything. Like we can go somewhere yeah. like my mom, him and my mom are like very connected to my mom feels him and it yeah. just makes the household crazy yeah because he's well he's an empath like you said he's very empathic and so he's empathing you darkened him down then he went crazy got demons jumped in him you know and so there i cleared him uh he don't have any reptilians now he just had a bunch of other okay. dark energies and now i got him looking good and so i got you looking good him looking good you're all cleared uh i see your child spirit jumping in you i see his child spirit it never he's like a child it never leaves him <laughs> you know and so makes sense Yes, that makes a lot of sense. And then would it be better for my son? Because my son's still having, you cleared him the last time he was having like ear, hearing issues. You said that his um, spirit didn't go into him at birth. Yeah. He looks good now. I got okay. him. I, got, I lit up the whole okay. crowd. Yeah. Even okay. your mom. Perfect. You're, gonna, you. you're <laughs> good. Honey, you're going to be fine. So okay. Thank there you. you go. Good luck. Okay. Look at her guys. That's Thank crazy. You. That was a huge transformation there. That was big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I felt it. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you back. There we go. And so, um, and so there's always a spiritual gift that God hooks us up with to fix whatever's wrong, whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got big problems on the planet earth, virus, vaccine, vaccine, virus, vaccine, A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And so there's a lot of stuff going on where we don't know, is this a conspiracy theory or is this um, reality or is this both or who's crazy, me or you or me and you or you and me, <laughs> you see. So it's a little crazy today and it's very concerning. Uh, you're not going to be able to sort it out with your intellect, I don't think. You're going to have to sort it out with spiritual gifts and you're going to ask to, you're going to have to ask your angels and go to a higher place and ask God to help you out and get your spiritual gifts. So you really want to learn how to use your spiritual gifts, you want to learn how to get your spiritual gifts and you want to be able to share them with your friends and your close in family members uh, because remember if you got a close in family member or friend that's being a total idiot, you can fix your idiot. And, and, and we're sometimes the idiot ourselves and we got to fix ourselves. So you're not going to be able to do it without spiritual gifts. So make sure you come to the spiritual retreat uh, in beautiful Ojai, California. We're going to have fun and we have a good time. We have fun at these retreats. I think all you guys that saw uh, the one we just did in North Carolina, Thank you for that. It was amazing. But anyway, if you want to join me for the spiritual retreat in beautiful Ojai, California, uh, book it now and uh, we will sell out. And so you guys got to get it. And so it's August 5th through the 8th. And um, if you want to call Michelle, it's the easiest way. It's her cell phone, 702-822-0548, 702 822 -0548, 0548 or Michelle, you can email her, uh, Michelle at GarySpivey.com. And so, and I appreciate all you guys that are in the online club. If you're not in the online club, you want to get in the online club because we're, we're, you know, kicking out always new information, new meditation, new spiritual gifts, new epiphanies. I mean, I really can see all these heavens and God and angels and things. And, and also I got you guys that are telling me all the things you're seeing. And every time one of you guys show me something that I don't know, which is a lot of times, I will uh, make sure that I leak it out to everybody I can. So you want to be in the online club and that's at GarySpivey.com. Really easy. Just check that out and you can join it. It's the enlightenment club. I'd love it if you're a part of it. And, and this is uh, we always have our spiritual master class at the end of every month, this month, uh, it's on the 27th. So again, you can, you can uh, join us GarySpivey.com at that, or call me for a private reading 800-827-GARY, 1-800-827-GARY uh, or, or GarySpivey.com. And I do private readings every day and uh, I got some freaky gifts.
these days. Some of the stuff I'm doing, I never saw me do before. So it's pretty amazing. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you to these purple angels that are hanging out with us. And so uh, who we got? Who are we talking to? Yeah, I can do one more. <laughs> um, <laughs> Michelle's like, who are we doing? I was asleep. Where am I at? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to Whitney Hostchild. I hope I said that right. Hostchild. Okay. Yep. All right, Whitney, unmute yourself, please. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Gary. Hi. Hey. hey, how are you? What's your question tonight, girl? Yes, so I am curious to uh, the other day, I actually kind of lost consciousness in my car, and I'm curious to what caused it. Hmm. You weren't drunk. No. That would have been an easy idea. That'd have been low. That was low hanging fruit. And so, but no, what you, so you lost it. You just passed out driving down the road. No, I had actually just left a doctor's appointment and I started getting really lightheaded. And then I got in the car and I just kind of started, it felt like I was falling asleep, but I wasn't falling asleep. I just kind of faint, fainted. It's happened before, but I was sitting down and I just kind of lost consciousness and I don't know what happened. And then you just woke up later. I woke up and I tried calling my mom, but then I hung up on her because it felt like I couldn't talk at the same time. And then I called 911. I'm trying to figure it out. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. You, you don't believe all the information I'm running in my head. Uh, I see your head dark. Uh, I see your inner ear. You ever had any inner ear problems? Um, not really. No. You ever been dizzy before? Yes. I think it's your inner ear. When I scan your body, I find your inner ear is dark. Okay. And so, and when I scan your body, I see your thyroid dark. I yes. have a history of thyroid cancer. Okay. Did you have thyroid cancer? I did. Okay. Have you had the, have you had, um, the, the vaccine? No. Okay. I I've seen a lot of people who had the different vaccines and they had dark thyroids. And so, so, you know, after a while you kind of go, Hmm, I guess that's something's going on here. Um, but with you, I see your thyroid a little dark on the back side, and, and I'm clearing that off. <clears throat> there we go. Give me a minute. There you go. And I see a dark energy in your inner ear. You have TMJ on one side. I do. Okay. Um, that's affecting your inner ear and it's causing you a problem. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you chew gum? No, barely ever. Good. Don't. Um, but I just see a dark energy in your jaw and it's coming from your TMJ. Uh, do you wear the little mouthpiece at night? No. You got one? I don't. Get one. Okay. Okay. They're real attractive. You look like a boxer in bed. <laughs> you know? And so, but you need to, but that's what's going on. And it's making your, it's doing something weird with your inner ear that's almost putting you into seizures. Which I have epilepsy. Oh, there's the seizures. But this is what's keying in the seizures. Get this? See how it's connecting together, guys? See the dots connecting? And so so this is going into a seizure thing caused by your 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 um, TMJ. And, and that's cl clearing, uh, keying in something with your inner ear, and that keys in the seizures. Okay? So that's what I'm curious. Is it seizures that I'm having or? Yes. You're having seizures, but it's keyed in by the darkness in your inner ear caused by your TMJ. Wear your mouthpiece. <laughs> okay. It's like, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you wear your mouthpiece, you'll find that this is going to eliminate a lot of your issues. Um, okay. and I, and I cleared the dark energy off your thyroid, but I would do a scan and look at it and keep track of it. Okay. Which, that's what's weird is I don't have a thyroid anymore. There's a, do a scan anyway. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I see a little dark energy there and I got rid of it. I got rid of the dark energy and I don't, maybe you'll see nothing when you go look. Okay. I hope that's the case, uh, but I just see, I see what I see. Okay. And so, and it's, it's in the back, back there. It's a little further back than the thyroid. Remember I said it's back in the back side of the thyroid. Remember, remember I said that? Yeah. Again? Okay. And so, so that's what I see. So I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, but it's bizarre. Your TMJ is actually making you key, key in the epilep, uh, epileptic seizures. Okay. Okay. And, so, and I do have one more question. Yep. Um, I have something going on, I guess, with my small bowel thickening. I'm curious on that. That's a gallbladder issue. Is it? Yeah. Your gallbladder is secreting foul bile into, bile into your stomach, going down to your small and lower intestines and creating this thing that seems like it's what you're saying, but that's a wrong diagnosis, frankly. Okay. Okay. So, all right there we go thank ah. you very much yeah i'm not a doctor i only play one on this show okay <laughs> not right. a doctor i'm only a psychic i can see things and seems like it's right you know we'll yeah. see i'm not a doctor though you have to call my call call my doctor buddies you know all I, right call dr grossman he's great he's my friend <laughs> anyway well thank you very much gary hey take care you too i'm glad Good. we were able her on thanks gary <laughs> yeah there we have time for more or are we yeah talking? let's talk to one let's dr. talk to dr. dr spivey here <laughs> you guys no i'm not a doctor not a doctor yeah <laughs> anyway, but, okay, uh, anyway but i just know things and they happen to sound like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> anyway <laughs> so there we go who we got who are we talking thank to thank you uh let's go to rhonda hansford thanks for being patient rhonda <laughs> Rhonda. Rhonda. All right, Rhonda, unmute yourself. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, thank you for taking my question. Hey, glad to, girl. Um, What's your so question? My question is, Gary, I'm feeling, I haven't been sick in like forever. Good. And I'm feeling like I'm getting a cold or kind of unbalanced. Mm -hmm. So I'd love for you to clear that. But um, also, okay. I just, um, my nephew, I just learned that my nephew was arrested again. Um, mm -hmm today or yesterday or something. I haven't been able to really find any more information about him. I know you've cleared him in the past or you have cleared him in the past, actually on his birthday a couple of years ago. Okay. He's really struggling. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Um, and I more so I would just like to really help him. Okay. And, well, I just cleared a bunch of darkness off of him. He has really bad friends. Is he an addict? Yep. Is what? Does, does he do drugs? Or you know, drink? he was adopted into our family and he was adopted addicted. He yeah. was a, um, and um, my uh, sister, who was, yeah, yeah. So he is a, I, I, I don't, I didn't, I don't know that he's, he has addictive tendencies, I guess I could say. Okay. I, I just cleared all delaying, these. But. Well, I cleared, I cleared all these addictive demons off of him. That's okay. what I did. Thank uh, you. So I just peeled all these addictive energies off of him. Uh, he looks very different and he's a super bright light. So he, he is. He's actually an amazing kid. He really um, is. How old is he now? He's 22 now. And, um, yeah. Is he in love? I don't know. I haven't like, it's yeah, been, I think so. I've talked to him. I, I think, I, I think he's got a relationship and he's really in love and he's, you know, it's, you know, it's like that feeling. Uh, I, I'm going to clear him uh, from all this junk and it, he's such a bright light. He was easy to clear. And frankly, I did it that fast. Thank he looks you. Good. Yeah. He'll, he'll get better. Yeah, he um, is. He's amazing. He's an amazing kid. He's, mm -hmm. but like, he's like, like an artist. I, He's yeah, like an, he he's like an artist. What does he do? Does he paint? Does he draw? Does he sing? You know what? He's he... figuring it out, but he went to a, a, a high school that was for creative kids. Oh, good. He was into music and he yeah, was he's into a friend. all of it. Yeah, um, I think he's going to, I think he he's going to, he'll find his way is what I see. Yeah. That's and right. he's on the spectrum as well, which we've never really like figured out what that's about. And I, I disagree. Kind of my that. family doesn't talk about disagree. it. Disagree. So. Disagree with that. Oh, too. good. Yeah, um, he he is simply a creative kid, and he is uh, his dominant uh, dimension is creation. Mm -hmm. There's there's a part of one of the heavens is creation heaven, and he's dominantly in creation heaven, um, and so that's the language he speaks. Put him into yeah. something creative, life is lovely. 
not, yeah. he's going to be an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so so and, there you go. He so, goes dark sometimes and I get that. And it's like, I'm just trying to figure out how I can help him with help creative, him. help him with anything creative. And that's all you got to do. And he's going to be fine. I cleared you and I, I cleared him too. I cleared your little, your little okay. vibe. You had a little something in your throat. Um, yeah. Uh, and and, uh, you know, feel and how I, it got, feel how it, how it got hot back there. It was kind yeah, of a strange yeah. hot feeling in your throat now. I can feel it. Yeah. And so. And Got many other things going on, but I'll call you for a reading. <laughs> hey, there we go. Call me for a private reading, you guys. 800-827-GARY. I'm doing tons of private readings this week as, I, as I, I'm as i trying to uh, uh, help as many people as I can with these big blue angels that just showed up. <laughs> so yeah. uh, we're going to see what's happening on the planet Earth and what's happening with you guys. Call me up. And uh, if you want to book a, a uh, also a retreat in beautiful Ojai, California, uh, I'll take you guys to the beach. We're going to carry on. We're going to have a party. I'm going to cook for you. We're going to do all kinds of cool things. And uh, but I'm going to above all teach you how to have fun and be enlightened, uh, get rid of your demons. And, you know, it's a crazy feeling when you're around all these people and, you know, we're laughing, we're dancing, we're having fun. Uh, it's not my retreats are not boring. They are fun. And uh, we actually uh, just have a really good time. So if you're looking for a fun vacation, uh, you need to get away for a minute. Come to beautiful Ojai, California. Call Michelle. And what's the number again? 702. You guys, what's your number? 702-822. I can almost remember. 0548. Okay, 702. Dean, you knew your wife's cell phone. Yes, I know. 702-822-0548. There we are. Or Michelle at GarySpivey.com. That's perfect. Call us up because we'd love for you to join us on the retreat. And this one, it really will sell out. It's almost sold out now. So make sure to call up. And uh, I I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Michelle, you got anything to talk about? Anything going on? Yeah, I was just going to say. Um, I have quite a few phone calls, so just in case, if uh, if you guys can text me and give me your text me your name and number, and then we'll. Yes, I have a couple calls right after this, so please. Okay. Get all right. And so, yeah. And so she, she may not get to all of them tonight, but she's, uh, she's been traveling. She may be a little tired. And so, but you, you can, uh, you'll make sure you get to them in the next day. <laughs> and so, so, cause I know you get a ton of calls. You really do. And so it's, it's really good. Thank you guys for being part of our family. Uh, and we're so happy we're a part of yours. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And, uh, I just ask all the angels, God, everybody, please, please, please keep us all safe. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Thank Gary. You. Thank you, everyone. Love you. Thanks, honey.